This is Scott White and Giveaways with Photocruddy, and today I want to talk about watermarks. More specifically, watermarks in next-gen gallery and when you start seeing more than one watermark on an image. Here's what happens. Instead of making watermarks dynamic, which means we'll just overlay a watermark on top of your image, to speed up the watermark process for next-gen gallery, we actually make the watermarks permanent on the front end. This means that any watermark that you place is always on that front end image that is displayed. And if you change your watermark and then reset a watermark again, you're actually going to have more than one watermark. And you could have endless watermarks on an image if you uh, never revert to the backup. So what do I mean by the backup? So basically, if you go to other options and you go down here to back up the original images, by default it's turned on. What this does is it allows NextGen to back up the original image and then make a new image uh, based on whatever size that you set. You can say don't automatically resize it. So just basically copy the image from one from the backup to the uh, to the new to the front end image, or you can turn it on to resize it and select whatever size you want it to resize to. Um, so as long as you have back up the original files turned on, whether it's resizing or not, then uh, your front end image, you can always revert to the backup image and remove that watermark. So I just created a watermark and I'm going to save the watermark and then go to the uh, bulk actions. I want to add the, um, the watermark to this one gallery, set watermark and hit apply. And it's going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause the video while this is going. Okay, now if I open up this image, you can actually see that over here there is a watermark, the demo watermark that I created. Text is very small, that's fine, it's demo purposes, so it doesn't make a difference. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to other options to go to the watermarks and I'm going to make this go to the top and call it another demo watermark. Let's refresh. And first of all, you can see that the one watermark is now here in the preview. The preview here always shows the first image in the first gallery, basically the first image ID in NextGen Gallery. Um, so yeah, you can see here another demo watermark and I'm actually gonna make the font size even bigger and I'll change the color slightly to this blue. Oops, let's go to this blue over here. And then I'll hit save. And then go back to manage galleries, check off this gallery and set watermark once more. Okay, so here's the image. And you can see that's got two watermarks. Now, if I want to revert to the original without the watermarks, because I now have two, I can then go ahead, check this off and recover from backup and hit okay. And it's going to go through and it's going to get all those images from the backup and get them live. Okay, so now if I refresh this, you can see the watermarks went away. I can then go back because now I know I want the, better, the, the bigger watermark at the top. I can set watermarks once more. And by the way, you can do the same thing with individual images if you don't want to do the full gallery. And now if I refresh this. I got the watermark back and only one of them. So there you go. This is the importance of having your backup origi uh, your original image backed up. And um, there you go. Thanks for watching.